Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight, we're going to talk about uh, two-factor authentication on your Synology. So let's get over to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our Synology. You're going to go to Control Panel, and if you haven't already set up the notification service, what you're going to do is you're going to set up notifications. Now, the easiest way to set up notifications is to put in, you know, your recipient. This is probably going to be your email. Then put in a subject prefix. I just called this H5 uh, Synology, so that's what every email sent. That's what the subject prefix is going to be. And then service provider. When you select Gmail, you're going to click this button right here. This says log into Gmail. And it's going to pop up, and it is literally going to ask you for your Gmail credentials. And then Gmail is going to say, are you sure you want to give Synology access? And you're going to say yes. Once you've done that, your Synology is going to automatically be configured to use your Gmail to send email. It's, it's brilliant if you trust it. If you don't trust it, then you're going to need a third-party um, SMTP. But I have a Gmail account that is specifically set up to allow me to do these kinds of things. I don't use it for anything else. So I know if I see a message come from it, something's wrong, I'll cancel the account. All right, so once that's set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the user section and you're going to go to advanced. You're going to scroll down and it says two step verification. And we want to check the box that says enforce two step verification. Now you can do it for all users or administrative users. I suggest doing it for all users. Welcome to the two step verification wizard. So we're going to need a piece of software. Um, and or a piece of hardware that can do this and we're going to look at that here in a minute but what we're going to do is uh, I click next here in the event that our mobile device is lost an emergency verification code can be sent to this email address so I put my email address in there now the authenticator app that I am using is Google Authenticator and you can get that on uh, Android and you can see that I've got it right here and so I'm going to open it up and it gives you know it tells us uh, after you turn on two-step verification for your Google account or other accounts you'll need your password and a code this app will generate for you we'll go ahead and click begin now what we want to do is I'm going to see if I can get this going here is we actually want to scan this barcode right here using the app so we're going to hit scan barcode it's going to say, do you want to allow it? And we'll say yes. So then I just, I literally just held the, the camera up there. And we'll go ahead and click um, add account. And we'll click next on this. We'll put a verification code in. And that was the, the code that I put in. That was the code that was being uh, displayed right here on the screen now that will roll I think this is set up for 60 seconds so you'll see that this is um, that this is rolling and so now it has been enabled for uh, my account so go ahead and click close we'll click apply now we can switch this over to all users um, so we can click apply now all users have to set up two two step two factor authentication so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that and we are going to log out and now we are going to log in we're gonna get an extra screen that's gonna ask us for our six digit code and if we lost our phone right there we can say you know lost our phone but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our phone and you can see that we've got a six digit number we've got just a little bit of time left here on that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for it to roll and then we're going to put that number in here. And now we are logged into the Synology. So Synology makes it, um, they make it really easy to do this. Now, besides Google Authenticator, there's another app called Authy. And Authy actually allows you to back up Google Authenticator um, all of the accounts that you have in Authenticator and you can restore them on another device whereas Google Authenticator is just uh, on your phone and you can't back it up 
as easily. Authy makes it very easy. You have an encryption password for the account, and you can just you can move it from device to device to device. I literally moved using Authy. Um, I moved all of my two-factor authentication from the Samsung to the LG in just a few seconds. Um, and all I had to do was put in my encryption password, and I had access to every single one of my two-factor accounts. You should be using services where you can set up two-factor authentication. And if there are other devices that you want to see two-factor authentication uh, configured for, let me know that down in the comments, and we'll definitely add that to the list. I've got uh, an exciting lineup of videos coming, and uh, we are going to do a, a few videos here uh, concentrating on security. So that's it for this video. Go out and you know enable two-factor authentication. It really is that easy and it's just an extra peace of mind, the extra security that you have to have you know the authenticator app to be able to, to log into that. So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment and share, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to talk to us on Discord the link is down there. Charlie is our ad man. He does a fantastic job. If you want to purchase any of the gear you see here on the channel, we do have that Amazon affiliate link down below. If you need consulting, IT consulting, security, voice over IP, best practices for networking, and all of those awesome things that you might be looking for, you can go to h5llc.com down there, fill out the contact form, and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.